Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to LitCode. Today we have a little complex test case here because we are going to handle the shadow DOM as well as we are going to handle the window uh, handling concept here. Okay, so by end of this exercise, we will you will be learning like how to handle the shadow root or uh, the shadow DOM and also a uh, few of the verification as we learned in all our exercise. Okay, so first thing first, we are going to uh, navigate to this site and basically it's a react application so you will get a good idea like how to handle the react application with the uh, with the help of selenium as well okay so if you are going to use protector or playwright or cypress that is also fine but i believe most of you are using the selenium so in that case of course definitely you will get a good knowledge on how to handle the react application okay okay let's get started now so first thing first we'll go to uh, this website and then uh, user should see the github start button it's not actually the start button it's basically the star button here so here we can see the star i think i have to change my code so I'll just change it now okay anyways so first of all go to the uh, url and user should see the github start button here so here we have the star button so make sure you are going to check like uh, is display function basically okay uh, but the complex thing here is basically if i right click and inspect you can see that it is actually within the shadow root or also we say it like shadow dom okay so you have to identify like how we can handle this and this element is basically within the svg if you can write a xpath for svg you can or else it is basically the parent tag is a so uh, in my xpath video also i said like it is not necessary we should always click on the svg we can go to the parent and we can handle the parent as well we can click on the parent that is pretty much enough okay so you you are going to learn how to handle the shadow root okay and then uh, what we have to do note down the counts of the star that means for now as of now we have like 1717 17, 17, 17, okay so then what we have to do we have to uh, click on this okay click on this it should bring a new window here and then you have to click on the star but if you have to click on the star uh, i mean if you have to give the star definitely you have to do the login so just do the login and then you give the star to this okay now that's it pretty much over for this uh, tab so close the active tab so here you can see close the active tab and then you have to make sure that the uh, count is get increased the number of stars should increase okay but it is not increased because we didn't refresh so we done changes in that site that should be reflected here so we are going to do the refresh and here you can see like, see like it's like 1718 okay so if simultaneously other people also other people also doing means of course the number will vary so that is that is the reason i have written like verify the number of products available uh, message uh, sorry not this one uh, should increase okay i didn't say like should be increased like one or two so it should be increased you have to write it as case regarding that just greater than you can write okay you think the logic i should not say so you have to think the logic and you have to write your test script in that case okay next uh, verify the number of products available message okay so what here is here you can see that we have like 16 products fonts right so this is the message we are getting like how many products available in this page now we have to validate this like the number of uh, products here listed also here okay so for example here you can select like 4 8 um, 12 and we have 16 okay so 16 products are there so that's the reason it is also showing 16 so you have to do the verification for that okay now change the size to s okay we'll change the size to s and then we are going to do, repeat the step number 10 that is verify number of products so here you can see we have two products and here also we have two products okay then mouse over on the first product so we are going to mouse over and here you can see that the color of this button has changed to kind of yellow or amber okay so this amber color so here we can select um, yellow button or something any anyways okay then you have to do the verification and click on the add to cart okay once you click on this uh, last step is very simple just click on the uh, click the checkout and accept the alert so once we click on this checkout button we will get something like alert and you can just click on okay that's it very simple but at the same time a uh, few things you can learn from this that is the reason i have given you might um, ask me like how oh, it's very simple give us something complicated first be clear with the simple then probably you can learn the complicated stuff and here also com complicated we are handling the alert we are handling the window handling concept and also more important we are learning how to handle the shadow shadow dom or shadow root okay and yeah that's it 
okay so three topics if you if you, if i going to attend any of the interview mostly they will ask questions related to window handling the alert the shadow route so i think this is pretty much fine for the beginners okay so that's it for this video i will see you in the next test case and by the way if you are going to complete in few days please post the post your github link in the comments so that i can take a look and others people also can take a look if they got stuck okay so that's it thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon Oh, 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 oh.